Look at that freaking rain. Rain finally stopped and it's a bit of a late lunch. Let me just eat this up real quick and show you guys the new backpack that I got. All right, so here is the boosted backpack with skateboard carry technology. The previous owner definitely took care of this really well. That or it was just built tough. The reason why I went for the boosted backpack though is because of its very sleek design as well as its quality and all that stuff. And also it was cheap. I got it used and it's in amazing condition. I wouldn't buy it new. That's just my personal opinion. But you know, buy it new if you'd like. However, I, I guess I just got lucky with this. 100 bucks used. Anyways, it's a backpack, of course. So I'm just gonna show you guys the carry technology for the board. So let's go grab my skateboard over here and see if they fit. All right guys, so as I said, Wabo 2S backfires out. And uh, the way this is gonna work is I'll, I'll just show you guys how to fit these boards, non-boosted boards, into the boosted backpack. All right, so I'm gonna first I'm gonna start with the Wabo 2S right here. I'm gonna move my Zealot out of the way. So first off, I'm gonna remove the strap right here. It's basically an extra layer of securing your board and stuff. So what I'm gonna do first is to unzip this part right here. So you can see that in the other angle of the camera. And boom, you get this part right here. And this is the one that clamps like that, kind of holds it. But this part is the most important part, which is basically that is gonna um, secure your board. And all that stuff. So another thing that's unique about the boosted backpack is specifically made for boosted. So they kind of, you know, instead of like a straight cut away like that, they kind of curved it, kind of like with their boards. Luckily, the Wago 2S is somewhat similar with the boosted design. Hence why I am trying this out first. So just get this backpack situated. So the way I, I'm gonna do it is kind of just push it in a little bit. So there was some bending going on with this, but not too much. Um, it's made out of metal though, luckily. So I'm not too worried about it breaking. So you guys can see this part now is quite secure here. So I'm just flip the backpack actually. So this part right here now, just gonna secure it right there too. Just basically holds it. The way I'm gonna close this now is pretty straightforward. Just like, you know, zipping up a jacket or something. Just gonna secure it right here just zips up like that. Now that it's secured there, it's gonna secure one more time with this magnetic strap right here. And there you have it. We got ourselves a WowGo 2S in the boosted backpack. Demo time for you guys on what it looks like. Let's carry that. I mean, of course, a bit heavy, but you can literally jump around and yeah. You got a Wago 2S and a boosted backpack, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so now onto the Backfire Zealot. So this one's a bit tricky just because it's got a big battery pack right here. And also the way the board is shaped is a bit different. All right, so the way to put this in is basically just one way, which is the ESC facing down, the belt and all that stuff facing down. It's gonna snap place give it some nice tugging zip it the way you would again with you know the logo to us and stuff and then as always strap this part right here for extra security on. definitely it's a lot heavier just because the backfires out with cloud wheels on and stuff it's just heavy in general so yeah here it is just gonna jump around to Boom, and then we got the remote. Boom, all right. Backfires out on a boosted backpack. Quite of a heavy feel, but hey, if you're like taking the train or something or 
maybe your board ran out of battery or something and you're still maybe like two miles or three miles away you can just put it here maybe take a lime scooter or wheels or something like that or link i don't know what you guys have for scooter share program and just scooter along all right now we're gonna dive into the features of the backpack itself so all right now that's that's out of the way i'm gonna show you guys the features of this backpack and how big it is i think this is like 16 liter like when it's folded like that and then it expands to 23 it literally looks like a luggage like a mini luggage so it doesn't have wheels in there or anything like that anyway it's gonna open it up there's a zipper pockets over here it's quite heavy too actually let me just grab my camera right now and show you guys what the inside looks like all right so here is what the inside looks like hopefully you guys can see that pretty well in there that's pretty deep and spacious in my opinion so this one you got like a laptop compartment and all that good stuff um, padded really nice material so yeah you can fit, fit like a maybe 15 inch or 17 inch laptop here and then over here we got some sort of a zipper and then we have some padded material spark or whatever you want to put here basically you know maybe remote or anything that needs uh, protection and then this part right here I don't know if you guys can see that in there but there's some um, padded materials as well in here it's pretty spacious too maybe you can put like a charger or I don't know anything that needs protection I suppose and over here maybe clothes or you know books whatever you guys want to use that for what's really cool is this part right here so this one is actually pretty reflective another cool feature of the backpack is how quickly this thing snaps right back so this one is like magnetic i suppose it's pretty fast like that part right here is uh, already clipped in so we're just gonna clip this one in as well and boom goes into like a 16 liter backpack this part too is pretty reflective the boosted logo so that's pretty neat we got a zipper right here front zipper uh this one is just for your extra stuff maybe um i don't know papers i guess Another cool part is this hidden compartment. Not quite hidden, actually, but more of a just a, you know, sleek, not in the way kind of zipper pocket right here. It's like an easy access, basically, instead of just like going from the top part. And then we got this little strap right here, too. I don't know what you're going to put there. Maybe a water bottle or something. Now, onto this side right here. Um, I mean, I kind of demonstrated it already on the video, but this is literally for your remote specifically. That's how Boosted designed it. However, if you don't want to use this for skateboarding purposes, you can put like maybe cash, <laughs> maybe not cash, just extra wires or whatever you want to put in here basically. As far as like protection and stuff like that, it's water resistant. I wouldn't say waterproof because, you know, it's still washable. However, you know, it's enough to shield it from the rain and stuff like that kind of like an umbrella yeah you can literally use this for like a maybe a week's worth of clothes or a few days you can fit like a sleeping bag there i suppose uh maybe a foldable jacket or packable jacket a couple of you know socks underwears whatever you want to put so yeah this is the boosted backpack well that is all for this not an unboxing video showcase video what do you call this um, of the boosted backpack with skateboard care technology. I know there's a bunch of other backpacks out there that are capable of, you know, carrying your skateboards and also, you know, other brands out there like Evolve Skateboards, I believe, who has their own, you know, backpack similar to boosted that can carry your longboard, electric skateboard and all that stuff. Anyways, that is all for this video, folks. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.